So up, it's David here, day three of Eurogamer Expo 2013, and today we hit up the Sony booth um, and played a few games. What have you played, Ben? Uh, I, I played, uh, I've got to come all the way down here, the mic you <laughs> I played some uh, Drive Club, uh, Octodad, um, Hohokum, uh, and a tiny bit of War Thunder as well. Yeah, I played everything that he played except War Thunder. Um, so, Drive Club, I really liked. It was, it had some really nice like competitive things into it yeah. where it would take random corners or random speed areas and just like throw up somebody else's score and be like, try and beat this on this turn. So that was quite an interesting way of doing it. Yeah. Um, any other thoughts on that? Um, just that it, I, I could see a lot of replayability because um, it gives you the reason to keep going back to different tracks to take the corner a little bit better than your friend. and. And by doing that, you get points that go towards your club. So it's, there's always some sort of competition going on. Uh, it's not just a case of coming first in a race. It's a co case of being the best at the race and uh, earning points for your club. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it added a new kind of, uh, yeah, like I say, a new competition to the racing genre. And I could see myself playing, especially since I believe it's free with the PlayStation 4. Yeah, and um, we played Octodad, which it was really amusing. It was kind of like Quop, where you had control of each individual limb, and uh, you had to do various stuff to basically go get married and not alert anybody that you were an octopus, which was quite fun. Um, have you got any thoughts on that? Uh, I think you covered all of it, yeah. The, it's really uh, fun controls, and you kind of stick to everything a little bit, and uh, then you can pick things up and flail around. Basically, it's kind of like a, a Quop meets physics surgeon simulator uh, and but you're an octopus so yeah octopus are four arm they're four bits a, qu a quadrupus carry on said a quadrupus i think that's right yeah and you play there uh, war thunder war I, thunder yeah I did. I did not play that so that's all on you i had no idea what was going on it felt like it was in multiplayer and i felt like i was being shot well i saw i was being shot down by someone called luke uh, but I, did, I couldn't get a hang of the controls. I got shot down once. Uh, I believe Warfare is already available on PC. Um, so it's like a World War II uh, fighter flying game. Um, but yeah, it's going to be available on the PS4. Um, it looked very nice, but I can't say much more than I got shot down. And uh, we both played, I don't know how to pronounce it, but Hohokum, maybe? Yeah, that was a really like beautiful game. It's just like an exploration. You just kind of move this kind of trail around and pick stuff up and interact with the environment in interesting ways. And it was a really nice like chill game. You could just like lose yourself playing it. Yeah, um, that's all I could think was that I'm gonna lose so many hours into that. And I believe it's coming to PS Vita as well, which will uh, yeah even more so. And yeah, you, you're, you're this weird colored snake, and you can you do things like uh, you can, I open I went into a separate world by like making all these little things activate by going over them and then I went into the wormhole and then on the other side I could knock these leaf things off and little people would jump on them and float. it was the artwork on it was fantastic it was really crisp uh, it felt like you were just playing through someone's imagination it was really cool yeah so that was our morning um, carry on played a bit of rain which is a really cool game where you can't see I don't know probably let you talk about that later maybe first impressions and then I don't want to steal your words um, but yeah, well, on my way to the Indie Games Arcade to get another potential interview, which was sorted out on Twitter last night. So we'll go ahead to do that now and play some more games and get back to you. Yes. Hey everyone, I'm Karen. We're still at Eurogamer 2013 on day three, still. That'll be obvious when this is put together, I realise, and it's in the one video. Um, so what have we been doing, David? Uh, we have played and interviewed. Um, played them. Well, yeah, we've, pl <laughs> we've played Prison Architect, Assault Android Cactus, and So You Are Being Hunted, and interviewed uh, developers from each one. That's pretty fun. It was very insightful. Um, so we'll look forward to sorting them. Uh, what are we going to do now? We are going to the retro <laughs> arcade to play some retro games. I'm going to hopefully beat someone at Pac-Man or Street Fighter or something. Just want to win something. Um, we're we going to check out the indie one as well, maybe, today? Well, not, yeah, we'll have a stroll down depending on time because we've got to leave a bit earlier because we're behind on editing videos and also we've got the uh, Eurogamer after party tonight. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Yeah, 
Um, so we'll get on with our busy schedule and we'll see you soon. Bye.